So I got to know of Passion Java and Elias loving the year 2020. And after that, the story was. This is Prophet Passion Java, the spiritual father of false prophet Lovi Elias. This is my question to, to um, Prophet Lovi. When did God require a seed to give you a husband to bless you? And showing you guys what's really going on with these two false prophets, false, false prophets. All right, there is a different spirit going on here. If you don't see that this man is one deceived and deceiving, this man is a false teacher. Some things um, kind of have a witchcraft smell to it, okay? Kinda Why is this man using this spirit and walking in the body of Christ? These are comedians, these are fraud stars, these are Yahoo boys. For Prophet Lovely, this is a warning for Prophetess Tyrion. Hallelujah, this is a warning for Revelation Church. This anointing is called the remote control. He said it straight up. This anointing is called the remote control. They're controlling people with seducing spirits. Are you trying to tell me that somebody wakes up, takes a bath, picks up their Bible, decides to go to church for that. This was the story of a spiritual father and son from the year 2021. A transition from this to this. But to find out what happened, we have to go back to the story of how we got here. Both Lovey and Java started with humble beginnings. Both went to music, both got divorced, and lastly, there was this thirst for ministry, fame, and money. Years before, these were ministers who demonstrated the power of God, taught the scriptures with perfection, had a decent lifestyle, and were fathers that many looked up to. But fast forward to 2021, following some lifestyles and events, the question became, what happened to them? It all began in the month of March 2021, where Passion Java came out with tattoos engraved on his body. Following this was his son Lovey, who also on the 24th of November posted his first tattoo pictures. And when they were asked why they got these tattoos, this was the answer. In my story happened like this, this man sitting here uh, said, Papa, is it bad to put tattoos? I show him some scriptures, it's not bad to make tattoos, but he's struggling to put them. So what I did is I put my wife's name, my kid's name, my names. I sent him a picture. Ah, next thing he went, he put his tattoos. He asked me, is it bad to look like what I used to look because I feel like this is not me. And I sent him a picture after two months, <laughs> some lines. And uh, I thought people run away from us, but instead of running away, we have more people coming to us. Now, Lofi wanted to be himself and wanted no restrictions just because he's a preacher. With Java also saying that he did this so that his son, Lovey, will not feel guilty doing this. And also to attract worldly people and bring them to church. And as Pastor Chris would say, How worldly should we get to win the world? Lovey also claimed that God was the first tattoo artist when he was defending himself against the backlash of tattoos. Do you know that God is the first tattoo artist? <laughs> Amen. If marks were wrong, why did Jesus have marks on his hands with the wounds? Right. They were never taken away. If it was a sin, Jesus should have resurrected and there should have never been any marks. Yes. Well, it did not end here. Since just months into 2022, there were hairstyles of all sorts, with love even going as far as piercing parts of his body. As these things began to manifest, the past also caught up with them, and videos like this also came out exposing how these men saw themselves as mediators between men and Jesus. To that level, mm. you don't go and pray, find the girl. Find him. Mm. So you can never, but this is the so key. If you want the keys, you don't look for the keys, you look for Peter with the keys. Yes, <laughs> Peter himself is the key. Mm. Because remember, Papa, in order for you to be a door, you also have the ability to unlock it. Yeah. Because portals work like that. They are not like human doors. Yes. That's why the Lord Jesus said, I am the way. What is the way? The truth and the life. The way is a portal. Yeah. He's not saying I am the road. So Jesus yes. is not the door. He's not the door. He is the portal. He's the portal. To heaven. Yes. It's good. 
is the only way to heaven. But Peter is the key. Is the key. So you cannot access Jesus until you find Peter. What? What? Oh my God! Prophecy is it's God responding to humanity, but through a prophet. Mm -hmm. The answers that many people want from God is not in God, it's not with God, it's with the prophet. Ah. Hey, Chiniki, what type of nonsense is this? Mm. Mm. The answer that people want in this dispensation, mm. that people are praying for, to God, it's not with God. Papa, there was a time where I was praying for a miracle, mm. and God said, I, I cannot give you a miracle. <laughs> Oh my God. Hmm. Hey God. Mm. God said, I can't give you a miracle. Mm -hmm. And God redirected me back to him. Mm. He said, I've given you my prophet. Mm. It is a career of your miracle. Jesus. So what you need to do is to connect to my prophet in order for you to get a miracle. It's biblical. We also got to hear Pashin Java talk about the third eye, which seems to be a topic for witches because there's no third eye in the Bible. This did not end here, as when we traveled back to 2022, Pashinjava was busy flaunting his money while Lovey also worked on his flashy looks. Fast forward, a video came where they were charging a thousand dollars for marriage, and when the backlash came, Lovey claimed that Java told him to do so, thus confirming the suspicion of extorting money from the members. First of all, the video that they showed that I was asking people for money. No, my father said, tell them to give this much, and I stood there to pray for them. And you can put the blame on me. We also saw a list that came out where we saw how much they charged for you to see them. And at this point, people sold them for their true selves. Even meet with Prophet Lovi one on one, but that's going to cost you $350. Because as it says, he's a very busy prophet. Prophet John, can I speak with you? Sure, just cough up 300 denarii and I'll set some time aside for you. These people are shameless. Moving on, we had some ladies come out claiming with evidence that they were pregnant for Passion Java while he was married with kids. I am currently 8 months pregnant and the person that I am pregnant for is a prophet named Passion Java. I don't regret getting pregnant. I just regret the person I had a baby with. But once upon a time, we were in love. Following this was a recent video of Prophet Lovey, who got into serious backlash, where he said this. Like an example, everybody says sex before marriage is a sin, right? Show me one verse that says that. There is no verse that says that. There is no explicit verse that says that. I, you know me, I'll tell you the real. I'm not going to hide. I'm not going. I'll tell you the truth. There's no verse that explicitly says that. Now, to answer the question of what actually happened to them, the first could be this idea where the preachers found scriptures to back what they were saying, as Prophet Lovey will say. The Bible does not explicit, explicitly say certain things are sins but it implies based on the morals of judeo-christian beliefs or the morals godly morals that these things are not a good thing to do but not necessarily sin but it can lead you into a sinful path so here lies the case they decided to disregard morals and went with their belief that if it's not in the bible then it's not a sin Whilst the second may be that, on their journey of ministry, they decided to sell their souls for money, fame, lifestyle, and women. And to clarify the selling of your soul, it does not mean necessarily going to the devil to give him your soul or to ask for money. But as the Apostle Paul would say, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. So if you begin to prosper while losing your morals and Christian values, we have come to the point where it can be said that the soul has been exchanged for mundane things. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.
Chang cheng 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 ju a chelen chu o sulunja a ki cha chelu a che che a chulu manche chang shuang shwe king ya ki kia kashwa chwa shwe kiko o chele menchi a tsutsu cha cha che chalu 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 shuang shwe le shah.